Hello there and welcome along to Added Time where it's finished Brighton 1, Watford 1 at the Amex Stadium. Joined by Will Hughes. Will, I can't quite work out if that's a point gained or two dropped. Me neither. Uh, you know, looking at the last two results, um, you probably say it's a point gained. But at the same time, it is quite frustrating having led again uh, and you know, losing a couple of points. But we're away from home at a tough, tough ground and they're in a similar position to us. So I thought we showed resilience um, last five, ten minutes to, to keep it one all. Did you think you'd had it won? Twelve minutes to go? No, no. You, you don't think you've had it won until the final whistle goes. And you know, that showed the last few weeks. Um, it's been frustrating, but the performances are, are there. And, you know, the character's there as well. So it's just about getting, getting those wins again. You're close with Mariapa. How gutted is he in the dressing room there? Yeah, he's gutted. Everyone's gutted. Um, these things happen, you know, if he'd, if he'd have left it, the, the level would have had a tapping. So he's well within his rights to, to try and clear it, and it's unfortunate. What's he like in the dressing room? Have you had to have a word with him? You're quite close with him? Yeah, everyone's had to put their arm around him, but he's a, he's a professional, he's seasoned. Um, he knows, and he'll, he'll pick his head up. Is that a tough one with the ball coming across there? You're like thinking, is he in my left shoulder, is he in my right shoulder, is he behind me? I've got to make some sort of connection there. Yeah, it's easy to say he could have dealt with it better, but, you know, it's the amount of times you see that from a that sort of similar position that players score in goals so he's had to he's had to try and clear it and it's unfortunate how it's ended up in the game in the net what's Nigel said in the dressing room uh I can't, I can't really tell you much um you can try just looking back at the, the last couple of results having conceded in the last minute we've, we've done well to um to stay resilient last 5 10 when they're, they're on top and the crowd are on top of us is he one of those who doesn't get too high when you win and, and too low when you lose Exactly that. Um, we've got to keep our feet on the ground, you know. We're in a decent position compared to mid-December, you know, when we were nine points off it, basically relegated, a lot of people were saying. So we put ourselves right back in the mix and it's only up from here. Just in the game, you took the lead through Abdullah's great goal. Did you kind of get caught between two stalls, didn't know whether to stick or twist? Uh, in a sense, yeah. Um, you know, it's easy to say current player now you are but when you're away from home and you've got a lead you want to try and protect it so I thought we did that for, for large parts um, but you know again it's unfortunate the way they, they scored their goal. First game for you for a few weeks how's the body? Uh, aching um, it will do but I'm glad to be back out there it's been frustrating being out longer than I'd, I'd hoped but feeling good again. How did you feel you went? A couple of nice tackles early on a pass over to Roberto early first half and I think you crunched Solly Marsh down the, down the side here yeah, it's obviously a different position to what I've played last year and the beginning of this season. I'm enjoying it. Um, you know, it helps me a lot being that deeper where I can see the pitch more uh, and I like running around tackling people. See, people wouldn't have that to uh, think about that with your game because I think when you came from Derby, people thought you were kind of this impish number 10, this playmaker, but you really like getting your foot in, don't you? Yeah, you know, when you've got players like the attacking players we had on today, Jerry, uh, Max on the wing, they can do all the playmaking. You have to give them the ball and let them do their magic and just do the basics. What did you make of the goal from Abdullah? Has, has he got that in his locker? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Like, like my position allows him to, to go further forward and, and do those sorts of things. And what about that dynamic with you, Kapu and Dukure? How, how do you three kind of dovetail with each other? Yes, yeah, so we've got a good relationship in there. But, you know, we've got fantastic players on the bench. Nate has been brilliant the last few weeks. Um, Clevs is just coming back as well. So there's, there's strong competition in the, in the middle of the park, and I think that's healthy for all of us. You're a hell of a competitor, Will. You've got the kind of stomach for the fight for this, this run in now, and, and how are you assessing it? I think everyone has. Um, having been out of it midway through December, nine points off, off safety, um, to put ourselves in this position has been brilliant. I think we're only one point off now. Um, obviously, teams have got a game in hand, but for us to put ourselves in this position in the mix is, is brilliant, and credit to, credit to us from where we come from. Few days off now, recharge the batteries, walk the dog. What, what you got planned? Correct. Just you know, five days off. It's nice to to get this time off and put our feet up. But you know, we're all professional. We'll we'll keep ourselves ticking over. Do you need that little bit of time off? Because it looked like you'd really put a shift in a few of you towards the end. Really, really out on your feet towards the end. They need this little break to. Definitely, um, mentally and physically, just to recharge the batteries and I'll give it a right push. Last 10, 12 games. Well, thanks for your time, Will. Appreciate it. Safe Thank journey you. home. Cheers. And thanks again to the, all the fans who, who made the effort here to come down to the south coast. Um, we look forward to seeing you all at Old Trafford uh, two weeks Sunday and keep an eye across all our social media channels for reaction to this one and build up to the game at Manchester United. Hello, hello. 
click here to subscribe.